Hi everybody, my name is Richard and I'm here today to talk to you about Battle Systems City Block Core Set. Okay people, so what do we have here? Well, this is a terrain piece from Battle Systems. And it's called the City Block Core Set. And what you see here is almost only things from the core set. I got a few extra terrain pieces, but that's about it. The buildings, the, the, the things in here, the stairs, everything, this is in the core set. This, this is crazy cool. I, I love this. I mean, look at this. So you have small furnitures, you have small vending machines, you have a TV, and look at the details on the walls. I mean, you, you can really see this is a this is a house that's been teared apart by zombies and all kind of people. Maybe this guy here shot a hole in it. Uh, the small guys are actually from Battle Systems game core space, and they're only here to just show you the size of the buildings. This this is all you get. You get all these crazy things. You need. I mean, you get a little chair here. Look, somebody have flipped that chair over. Oh, those crazy people! And you have a little desk, and you have loot boxes and you have more desks more couches and sofas and you have you even got these cool little uh, dumpsters and you can actually pop off the lid and put stuff in there you have these little sewers here that you can flip over and all of a sudden it's an open sewer this might have been from the extra stuff i don't really remember but i or maybe it's from the core box. You know what? I don't remember that one. Uh, then we have we have vents. Look, vents on the roof. That is cool. You got these little pieces here, and everything here you can you can take off everything. You can pop it right off and pop it right back. It's crazy cool. And you actually get a lot of things in this package. I mean, look at this. You get what do you get? You get one, two. Three, four, five different buildings, and you get one, two, three different stores and stories on the houses. And on this one, you can build another story. And I, there's actually more pieces here that I haven't used yet. Uh, there's some more doors and some other things here that I haven't used yet. So I could have built another floor, I think, but I just didn't have the energy because, well, it takes some time to build this. How long time do you think? Are you asking yourself what this take? Well, all of this city block I bought, I, I built in maybe one hour, say approximately one hour. With the little cool art deco house, which I will tell you about another time, I, it took two hours almost. So it's not that bad. I mean, it, this is a lot of buildings, this is a lot of pieces, this is a lot of terrain to build up in one hour. And the best thing is that when you're done with it, and you can just flip it right back because it's just small pieces of cardboard. You can actually store them quite easy because most people don't have the space to have this beautiful piece up all day long. I would definitely want to have this one up all day long. It's beautiful. Uh, what I also did was that I took, if you look at this cool little bit, I took a, these really, really expensive pens that I stole from my kids. <laughs> they have no brown or black left. Anyway, I took them and I painted the small little edges you see here. Because these edges are actually not painted. As, as you can see out here in the corner, I have saved a little piece for you. Oh, the camera won't zoom in. There we go, you can see the cardboard here. That's the that's the cardboard right there, and then we have the painted pieces that I have painted, not there. And I, I've done this on on every piece actually, because I didn't want a cardboard edge on my houses. You don't have to do this. It took a lot of time to paint all of these small pieces. You don't have to do it. But if you're like a little detail nerd like I am, and you want it to be really good, well, you should paint them. It just looks a lot better. Look at these details. You got holes in the the, the the walls. You got broken off pieces of walls. I mean, you even got a little electrical circuit there. You get the wooden broken floors. You get the TVs. You get uh, so many things. It's crazy. And on some of these pieces, you can actually choose, like this one. 
I chose the, ground, the, uh, the green side, but I could have chosen the orange, brown ish side. I thought the green one was a little bit better. Also, on the tables, you got a clean, nice table, but on the other side, it was actually, a, you can see here, it was a dirty, filthy table. So I picked one, one clean table and then I took one. On filthy table. You gotta have a filthy table in a zombie a couple of, uh, apocalypse. Uh, you have, and, and most of these people the pieces here, you actually do not need to glue. I glue them. I have glued every bit. Every bit I have glued. But that's because I just don't want it to break. But you don't need to. Th there's a few things you need to glue though, and that's these pieces here, for example. I mean, they they just wouldn't stick otherwise. Ah, this damn camera won't focus. There, these pieces just wouldn't stick, of course. They, you can't leave them without some glue. So you need to glue that one. And pieces, for example, on the inside of this lid, lid you got a little extra lid here under to make it stick in the, the dumpster and you need to glue that one on, of course. Otherwise it won't work. The stairs as well, I think you should glue the stairs, otherwise they, they might slip out. This is a cool set. It's a cool thing. Uh, retail, I think I, I paid a thousand Swedish krones for this. Uh, I don't know what that is in euros and dollars and everything, but you have Google, so you can Google it. It's okay. You can fix it. So I have spoken a lot about the the pro things or the good things about this this setup. I mean, it's a it's a cool setup. This took an hour to set up. One hour, and normally you wouldn't have this piece of terrain. You would maybe have like one, two, maybe the first floor, but not the whole thing. One hour to put all of this up. I mean, I, I played their game, Core Space, Battle Systems game, Core Space, it's over here. They also have terrain like this in this game. You, you get this terrain in the game, it's crazy. Uh, but to set up a game like this maybe takes about, say, 20 minutes, half an hour. So it's not that bad. I mean, people look at this and they get scared, but they shouldn't get scared. They should get into it, mount it up. But what are the, the downsides about this big, beautiful building? Well, let me tell you about that. So what are the downsides about this beautiful building from Battle System? Well, the downside is that it, it might break. You have to be pretty, uh, pretty relaxed and calm when putting this together because this is just cardboard. I mean, if you push it too hard, if you use too much force in it, you will break it. That's as easy as it is. But when you have put it together, it's actually quite, quite good. You can throw it around, it, it won't loosen up. I mean, it, it, it's a good system and it, it will not break on you if you don't like lean on it or if you put your weight on it of course it's, it's going to break it's it's not steel it's not plastic it's cardboard how long will these pieces last i mean how, how how long can i use them how many times can i take this wall off and put it up again i don't know forever no no i don't think forever but some years yeah yeah i think i could use this for some years and then maybe i have to buy a new set again and do it all over again but Overall, it's it's a good sturdability in this, and it's it, it would it would stick to the test if you're careful. I, I wouldn't let my children play with this, but grown men, yeah, yeah, I would let them play with this. Other than that, there's one other downside, and that is that of course because it's ca cardboard, it doesn't weight as much. So if you're not careful while playing with your little little men, they could turn into a Godzilla and move the whole building. And that. Not cool, but it's then again if you're just careful and you play like a, a like a normal adult would play, not a children, not a children's game. It wouldn't be any worries. That was it, people. Thank you for watching. Uh, next time, I think I'm gonna be talking a little bit about Core Space Battle Systems game. If you like the video, please give a little thumbs up. If you want to prescribe, do it. If not, well, see you later.